plant parts and functions. Just like the human body, plants have different parts that all work together to keep it healthy and alive. Today, we are going to learn about different plant parts and their functions and ask you questions as we go. Let's dig in. The basic parts of a plant are as follows. Roots, stems, leaves, flowers, fruits, and seeds. Each part has a specific purpose and function to keep things running smoothly. We will talk about each part and its purpose in just a moment. But first, can you name two out of the six basic parts of a plant? Roots, stems, leaves, flowers, fruits, and seeds. Let's start with the roots. Roots support and anchor a plant. They absorb and carry the water and nutrients that are necessary for a plant to grow. The roots also store sugar and other minerals that a plant needs. Up next are stems. Stems receive and carry water and nutrients from the roots. Water moves through the stems as they also provide support for the leaves to reach the sunlight. Fill in the blank. The roots support and blank a plant. Anchor. Leaves are the food-making part of the plant and come in many different shapes and sizes. They catch light and include openings to allow air and water to come and go. Veins carry water and nutrients throughout the leaf. Flowers are the seed-making part of the plant where fertilization takes place. Their colorful petals attract pollinators, like bees and butterflies. The sepals below the flower protect its buds. And once bloomed, the flowers may eventually turn into fruits or vegetables. In what part of a plant does fertilization take place? Flower. The ripened part of a plant that contains its seeds is called the fruit. Its outer covering protects the seeds inside. And don't let its name confuse you. Vegetables are also considered to be the fruit of the plant. Last up are the seeds. They contain all that is needed for a new plant to form. The nutrients inside the seed are used as food, and the seed itself is protected by an outer coating. Seeds can be moved from one place to another by wind, water, or animals. And then the whole process begins again. True or false? Seeds contain all that is needed for a new plant to form. True! Thanks for learning with us, plant scholars. See you next time! Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.